Hello everyone, this is Jagar Rajat from Radio Studio. So this is just a quick tip video I am recording about this new Google Play developer policy which is affecting quite a lot of developers. So it is all about some section 4.8 which basically tells you to use the advertising ID in certain ways which means that you have to publish a privacy policy stating what data you are collecting and what are you going to do with that data and everything that goes inside a typical privacy policy so basically it is all about that but there are two ways to solve this problem so let's dive in and have a quick look of what these two methods are so subscribe to rain studios youtube channel in order to learn more about software development also make sure to click the bell icon in order to be notified whenever a new content is available on the channel so first of all before starting about how to resolve this matter we have to understand like what is an advertising id and why is google you know doing this thing so advertising id is basically a random id uh, allotted to a android device and it can be used to you know target ads to the users and these ads can be personalized based on that advertising id so basically it is a token to users behavior which means that it can be used to identify that particular user or we can do several things with that identification hence we have to provide some sort of privacy policy about how we are going to utilize that particular information that is i advertising id in our own applications so let's have a look at what these two methods are using which we can actually resolve this section 4.8 problem so as we have talked about that there are two methods the first one is to publish a privacy policy on your website about what data the application collects and how you use the data okay so for generating a privacy policy there are many tools which you can use or you can consult a lawyer if you have that sort of money but in case you are someone who is very frugal and who is a indie developer or something like that and you don't really want to shell out money to get your privacy policy created you can use this one particular application to generate a privacy policy for your application so you have to fill up this form and it will give you a html page which will contain a privacy policy you can download that page and upload it on your web server and then you will provide the link to that privacy policy into the google play developer console under the privacy policy column and then you resubmit the application and if your application got accepted the privacy policy would be visible on the app page on google play but you also have to update that link to privacy policy inside the application as well so in order to get your app approved you have to put the privacy policies link in two places first one is on the uh, developer console entry and then inside the application itself so it will require you to update the application as well okay so this was the first way which is a more prominent way of solving this section 4.8 privacy violation problem the other way of solving this problem is to opt out of this advertising id collection so this is going to be a hacky way and i would like to put a disclaimer here that i don't really know if it is going to break your analytics or something like that but uh, you can just stop collecting this advertising id in your applications in case you are not doing anything fancy with that advertising id or you haven't employed a fancy analytics tool which solely depends on this advertising id for its functionality so what you can do is like you have to go to this url and then there is a documentation about how you can disable the this advertising id collection so here it is so you have to basically put this line inside the application tag of your android manifest.xml file okay once you do that all the sdks which are using this advertising id will stop getting this advertising id from your platform 
okay so this will basically opt you out of this advertising id collection uh, mechanism and that will indicate to google play or whoever is you know doing the approval process that this application does not actually use the advertising id for any purpose but see i am really not sure if it can have any adverse effect in the long run this is the method which i have used to save my application two of my applications were hit with this section 4.8 and in one of my application i was not doing any sort of uh, ad display or whatever i was just using firebase uh, analytics or firebase sdk so i basically was not doing any sort of uh, ad display or analytics collection so i basically opted out of this advertising id collection or read permission and i resubmitted the application after putting this one line into my android manifest.xml and it got accepted within an hour so if you are not doing anything uh, extravagant or fancy with this advertising id you can basically put this one line in in your android manifest.xml file and call it a day and resubmit the application you are not required to update any sort of privacy policy on your server or inside the application you can just go ahead generate a signed apk and submit it as a new update and it will hopefully get accepted but you have to consider that it can actually break your analytics mechanisms okay but if you are sure about that i think this trick can easily solve your problem and you can get your apps accepted in google play very easily without uploading or updating any sort of privacy policy thing but in the long run i would suggest you that you create a privacy policy for your application because just in case google wake up one day and thinks that it needs to revise something more and then it again comes up with a new clause and then again you end up in trouble so it's better to prepare a privacy policy but if your business critical applications have been taken down due to this privacy violation and you need to put those apps back onto google play as soon as possible this way can actually help you and i have detailed this way in my stack overflow answer as well which you can read here so i will put the link to my stack overflow answer in this video post as well and you may want to check that out so i hope that one of these two strategies will work for you and hopefully you will get your apps accepted back into the google play developer program and in case you are new here make sure to subscribe to rain studios youtube channel because i produce weekly computer science and software development related videos and in case you are interested in learning something specific related to software development make sure you leave a comment on this video and if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your developer friends take care bye bye and i'll see you around